All right, we're back. Episode, I don't know what episode this is. 54? 55? I think it's 54. I don't know. 55? I'll put the wrong one. God damn. Damn. 55, 55, 55. 55. 55. Out, we are here <laughs> with Vlad and Rob. Finesse. Stay finessing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Finesse, Vlad. Yes, sir. Yeah, sure. Yes, yes, Pleasure yes, to be here. Word. I like 55, man. That's a good number. You know what I'm saying? Well, man. Lucky number? 55? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Let's keep us at 55. Yeah, 55, right, so 55. Nice. You heard him, man. You heard him. 55. 55 it is. Before we start, bro, I got a question. I think a lot of people be asking me this too. Are y'all really brothers? <laughs> you can't tell. <laughs> you can't tell. Hey, this is a different kind of world out here, bro. I don't, and plus, I don't be looking at dudes like that. You right? You got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we really brothers. Same father, same mother. We got the same face. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> now, because it's it's very rare that you you have you know family members who are into the same thing. You know what I'm saying? And actually stick it out and have projects with each other. You feel me? So it's dope enough. Y'all close in age for sure, right? I'm guessing. Yeah, a couple of years. I'm 26. She's 22. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Four years. Yeah, yeah. Y'all can drink together. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. turn so that's, what's up. that's what's up. That's what's up. So let's get into it. So what, who, let, let me say that. Who started it? Who started the music shit first? <laughs> me. Hey. It only makes sense. He's 26. I was still a little boy. I mean, mm. shit, you could have, you know you what I'm saying? Though, then... I mean, I started getting this music at eight, so it was like, oh, all right, all right. sorry. Age don't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, at eight, I was four. Only music I'm making is booms and crashes. Hey, that's what's up. So, what uh, what inspired you both to uh, just create what y'all create now? Um, For me, definitely um, just being around my house and hearing a lot of different sounds and music coming from my parents, from a lot of, a lot of R&B and hip hop as well. Just, Different stuff. My parents are like, they play like mad different things. So it just always intrigued me. Yeah, I was about to say, truthfully, music is really in our blood. Like, it's all we raised on. Mm-hmm. So that's why we listen to a lot of R&B now. It's crazy is I make most of my music from r and B. I don't really listen to hip hop like that. Word. I don't like aggressive Same. music. I like singing and shit. Even Word. though I'm not that well at it, it's just mad <laughs> calm. And it's like, all right, I got, like for you. I got space to think instead of having to fucking be rapping about shit that I don't really care about no more. Wow, that's growth. I like that. So speaking of R and B, who who would you say you really go to like to get that inspiration? What what year are you talking about though? And, uh, and, um, dead or alive, it don't even matter. Nah, dead or alive. I'm saying like since I was a little boy, Silk always been my like favorite group. Even though everybody says Jodeci is number one superior, it's like I don't feel that way because I grew up really listening <laughs> to Silk. It's like me and my bedroom since I was a little kid. I always sung that with my heart. All right. And that's probably why I treat the females how I treat them. It's like that shit's smooth, so it's already in me. Gotcha. Why you say Jodeci? <laughs> Jodeci the best. <laughs> I love they got hits. What? Hits the that, that they did. Monsters. Yeah, they I love them. <laughs> All right. So, uh, two part question. I guess it, y'all get your answer whoever first. Uh, what's your creative process when it comes to like making music? Is it like you got to hear the beat first and then the lyrics come? Or you already got lyrics already coming to your head and you just got to find a beat or something like that? <clears throat> It's both for me, because I ain't gonna lie, I don't rap to a beat. My mind do not allow me to rap on the beat. So I don't even know how I beat on beat, because I don't write my lyrics to it. I just make it fit the beat. Gotcha. Like, I can hear a beat and be like, cool. I can write a song before I even hear the beat for real, but it's like, all right, now I, the beat stuck in my head. I can't, mm-hmm. the, it'd be too much noise for me. I'd rather have it quiet so I can have space to put the song together, because I'm going to just yell at myself instead of the beat being behind it. I feel you. Um, for me, I'm, I like to. I don't know. I don't like wasting my time in the studio per se. So I like having everything already finished and ready to go, so Smart. I can just start recording and have just in that in that mode. Like I, I put everything inside their own sections. Like me writing and creating, that's something else. Me recording, that's something else. Like I separate the two really. Then once I get in there, I just get the job done. So what's the hardest part of writing for like both of you guys? Like I know you've mentioned like you rather just write <coughs> instead of hearing like the beat so like you think that's like easier or like harder i ain't gonna lie for me the only thing that's hard about making music is making a song with a singer anything else with rapping is natural it's like i like the, i'm very charismatic so it's easy to put the words together to make it make sense making a song with a singer is not as easy because like they got way more talent so they really blowing it's like <laughs> i can only do so much so it's like now i gotta make sure i'm matching what they doing and got a good cadence with it instead of it being like 
I'm just rapping on the fucking thing and beat and sound crazy. I gotta make sure I'm giving with the song gotta give. Yeah. Got you. What's the hardest part for you? And um, finding a good beat is actually the hardest part for me because me putting a song together is not hard at all. And I'm good. I'm good in a lot of ways, respectfully. So it was like I can come up with a lot of different things, but it's hard for me to find that good beat since I'm so like selective mm-hmm. and like very picky when it comes to that. So it was like I'm having thousands of beats, but never use none of them. Yeah. I just got to find like that one, and I hear it, and I'm like, I, I felt that. I felt is that. there is there like a specific genre genre you're like focused on right now? Maybe is that like probably sometimes a problem, or. Um, my mind goes all over the place, so I'll be jumping around from different things. I can go from rapping, hardcore, to R&B, to just different stuff. Even, like, dance hall or anything. Like, it's hard It's hard to stay. I'm, I'm very picky, so it's hard. I'm just, I just got to feel it, basically. Gosh, you like being in the moment type shit. Yeah. Okay. That's a trick question. You be trying to <laughs> <laughs> I will say, too, like, y'all sound, sound like some like Detroit rappers talking about getting money and shit. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> I like it. I ain't gonna lie. Appreciate these it. last few months, I fell in love with Detroit beats because, mm. like, I listen yeah. to Mad Peasy, so it's like, Peasy, okay. I don't know. Some about the Detroit beats, they just give you a different feeling because all they talk, they make everybody, they make being broke like it don't exist. <laughs> 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 it's they like, how do, they look at make music like, how the fuck are you still broke? And I wanted the same shit at this point because, like, now if I'm listening to this person all day, all I'm gonna do is be inspired to get money. Yo, it's for better. real, because Detroit niggas make you want to get money like right. quick. Like, I'm gonna money on me. Yeah, I get some money real quick. Hold up, man. Hold <laughs> up. This song right quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, facts. I fuck with Detroit, but I'm on like Memphis. I like Memphis style for sure. Mm. Like Key Glock and Young Dolphin. and them really PRE. Yeah, yeah, like I fuck with them too. heavy. They make they motivate you to get money too. That's that's all I listen to basically, as far as rap goes. For real. I feel it. I feel it. I want to say um, two standout tracks from both of you. That's like different. You know, I like to go back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, one of your tracks, uh, Dada, I think it's called. Oh, yeah, Dada. I fucks with that one. Yeah, my cousin, I ain't gonna lie. He put, it was crazy. Is he made the uh, hook and shit. I'm like, yo, I, he left the studio after that. I came, man, I'm like, yo, this shit is crazy. He said, I called him. He's like, if you want to finish it, finish it. Or I said, bet, let me get in there. Because I was in my feelings <laughs> anyway. I'm like. Facts. I, would my girlfriend really love me if I had no money? Like this shit was just there for me. I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna lay this bitch down. Right. Yeah. That's what I, I, I guess that's where I related to it most. It's like, damn. Like, is somebody gonna really be there for you when you like down and out? You, you know what I'm saying? Like nobody. when you, when you ain't got shit, you feel me? You know? And it, I, and I kind of related to it as well as, as far as like I've been in that situation. You know what I'm saying? Like when I moved back up here in like 2016, like I had like. Thousand dollars and that thousand dollars, you could spend that shit in like five two minutes. hours, <laughs> five minutes, one hour. You know what I'm saying? So, and the girl I was fucking with at the time, it was like, you know, she had both her parents. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I only thing I had was like I was able to live with my cousin type shit, but yeah. I still had to pay rent, all type of shit. She ain't had to pay nothing. Her dad like owned a car dealership and all types of shit. So it was like, like if she fucked up, it's okay. But if you fucked yeah, if up, you I'm got fucked nobody. up. It's like, oh damn, nigga, why you always broke and shit? I'm like, yeah, I just moved back up here. Yeah, yeah like, give you a chance to you get me? your shit together. Yeah, man. She knew that, but she won't try to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? You but gotta think about she it. She was unlogical. When a person that's entitled, when a person that comes from everything, mm-hmm. and a person that's building towards something, is two different things. That's what She's not gonna be with you if she got everything. That's like giving a motherfucker with a million dollars, tell them that you can make them some money. Exactly. They don't want to hear that shit. They're really exactly. fucking rich. But the only <laughs> thing that fucked it up was like I, I'm a logical ass nigga, so I was telling her like, "Yo, uh, I ain't got it right now, so we we can stop this shit. If we come back to each other, we come back to each other. But at this point in time, I'm really focused about myself type shit. She won't try to hear that shit. You feel me? How lonely? She you to have money and be with her, but because you didn't like. Yeah, like she, she ain't, she ain't want to like break up type shit. So she wanted but, her cake and eat it too, basically. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, look, I can only give you good dick at this point. <laughs> 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 Maybe some Cheerios. <laughs> you know what I'm but, saying? But, um, but, you feel me? But yeah. that's that's where I related to your track. Vlad, one of your tracks, uh, Song Cry. Oh, Song Cry. Shout my boy Tim Capers too. Hey, that shit. I feel like on that track, I I heard like. Like I've been on, I've been on you for a minute. Pause. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we grown, man. Like, <laughs> nah, you're not. Pause, you're not. You're not pause. Pause. You feel me? But uh, I feel like song cry was where I heard like you be like lyrical, lyrical. 
Mm. Like I feel like you came out of your bag on that one. You feel me? That whole project actually, I feel like you really tapped into some that's been dwelling inside you for a minute. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I fuck with your party shit too. Like I be in the house like jamming and shit. You feel mm-hmm. me? But I feel like that project, Potion Number Nine project, was uh was one of those was one of those ones for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that one sure. project where he's showing himself. Yeah, that's, yeah that's exactly. That's that's that was um, exactly because I ain't dropped nothing and um. I ain't dropped nothing last year at all. That was my first project coming back out. Really? Uh, we dropped on in January. Me and me and um, Tim Capers. That's a collab project. Gee. Yeah. So that shit had to hit. I had no choice. Yeah. That shit. That shit. Was hard. Something happened to like cause you to stop last year or? Um, not necessarily. Well, I was going through some shit, but like I had to like take a step back so I can get a bigger push forward, mm-hmm. and it was the right thing to do. So it, had, it worked out for itself, for real. I say that all the time. Like, I've been using that analogy a lot, like, with a bow and arrow. Like, sometimes you got to step mm-hmm. back in order to go forward. So, the fact that you said that just solidifies, like, everything I've been saying in the past couple of episodes. Like, you really, sometimes you got to take that step back in order to move forward. For sure. Definitely. You got to recreate yourself sometimes. Rebrand. Yeah. yeah. I'm about to say you got to rebrand so you can be a better you. Facts. That's what life in general, though. Relationships, overall, anything. It's just, like, sometimes that little distance can make you... Either come together more or just gonna show Realize what's going on. You shouldn't be together, type. Yeah, facts. Not definitely. Damn, that shit got deep real quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, so um, what song from both of y'all are y'all favorite? Like, it, I don't think like, that y'all made pretty much like All a song. Right. Uh, me answering first, I got two songs. I like City Girl Who and I like Toxic. I like City Girl. <laughs> I was that shit while I was driving in, man. <laughs> Yo, I was in the parking lot too. I was like, mm. Hey, it was crazy. I wrote okay. City Girl Who in 10 minutes I was just like I was talking to my friends And I'm like It's be fire And then one of my friends uh, It was around Father's Day His girlfriend posted like uh, The baby It was Mother's Day Matter of fact She was like The baby gonna be with the father that day And I said Damn these girls Trying to be City Girls On Mother's Day <laughs> It's Mother's Day You got your son What the hell you need Gonna be with the father They don't give a fuck your day. Days, yeah. I wasn't even supposed to be In that song either yeah, he, he wasn't gonna put me on it but I, I heard, once I heard the beat, I was like, "Nah, ain't no way." You know, ain't no way. <laughs> nah, Got to. Shit, shit. I wasn't gonna not put it on for no reason. It's just like I made. I needed a solo song because that's so. That's been like one of my flaws for like my past few years. I really don't got mad songs by myself. Mm. I have no problem letting person get on the song. So it's like I've been working on that now. Like I got songs just by myself. Okay. But he definitely was a great fit because he just matched my energy with the toxic shit. Yeah. <laughs> Zen us. I just play a little snippet of City Girls Who. Let's play a little snippet. Detroit shit. Born in the summer, I've been put up in the winter. Keep my dinner from me, rocking, fucking my splinter. She asked, could she eat the meat? I told her what's for dinner. She never fucked on a boss, I guess she met a winner. All black punters in her, watch you see her shining. Throw a house party, got your bitch on bad, bad time. time. He asked where I'm from, a Jersey nigga dipping. If I'm so, I be lying. Baby on the way, I'm stuck in money to the ceiling. My bitch is gon' leave, ain't too much reminiscing. City girl, who I got these bitches in their feelings. If you ain't with a whole bitch, I'm gone, I wanna deal with that's my favorite question though. Like, what the fuck put that woman to do that? <laughs> you outside, you really got a roof of the car? Shout out Glow Really. Glow Really. Yeah, me, my girl got a roof of the car. I'm hearing her with it. Oh, God. <laughs> damn. Crazy. God, I'll keep it toxic, baby. You toxic. Want that, when I get a roof of the car, you got the. Yeah. Do some crutches. Some crutches. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. You tripping. All right, so, Vless, what's your first song that you ever made? That song? I ever made? Well,. It's definitely City Girl Who because they saying that's the um, song of the summer. And, um, I could see it for song of the summer. I could I see, see it because like just like the fucking like the like well, the vibes and they shit. They give you happy vibes. Yeah. Like it make you like as soon as we drop that, people started going crazy about it. I'm like, oh, we got something. No, but bro. um, yeah, like you said too. This I just dropped a single called Toxic. It's featuring him and this girl named Fine Ass E. Shout out mm-hmm. Fine Ass E. You're gonna definitely know about her soon for real too. She just she just dropped crazy. But uh, oh, that one because. You, you need to hear it so you can understand. It's a lot of toxic shit for real. <laughs> it's fun though. It's definitely something fun. On toxic shit, ain't no, ain't no better than that. I tell you. Yeah, that. I ain't gonna lie. You hear that song, you gonna be like, you gonna feel like that nigga. Cause I was talking greasy. She. Bro, I'm telling you that shit. All right. That's what's up. Yeah, I just. So, what? Um, how did that come about? Like, it was just a thought. Like, fuck it, I'm gonna just be on my toxic shit for the summer. 
Uh, yeah. Oh, City Girl Who? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I ain't gonna lie. City Girl Who? I was just in the living room. I'm like, I ain't making a song in a minute. But I'm like, you know what? I knew what I was doing because I was thinking about the uh, beat drops. I'm like, this beat crazy. I'm like, all right. I was gonna rap regular. I'm just like, let me step back for a second. Like mm-hmm. what you were saying about the bow and arrow, I stepped mm-hmm. back and waited. I'm like, yo, let me write something real quick. And I, when I tried it, it fit so perfect. So it's like that's a song you could shake your ass to, you could chill to, you could fill it all together. And if you got a baby on the way, you gonna fill it how I feel it. <laughs> baby, <laughs> on, baby on the way, I'm stacking money to the ceiling. I don't know where my girl leaving though. She can't leave, but it's like my bitch is gonna leave. Ain't too much reminiscing. City girl, who I got these bitches in their feelings. If you hang with whole bitch, I'm gone. I don't want no Dylan's. Fuck you doing these hoes. Talk, Birds with feather flock together. So if you a hoe, she a hoe. Everybody holds together. Shout out hoes, man. I love Which hoes. That's true. Uh, you feel me? A lot of motherfuckers need to hear that shit. That's the truth, bro. Hoes stay together? Hell yeah. Well, it's kind of, it's kind of true because let's let's say like you're dealing with a girl and like you say her friends doing some like wild shit. Mm-hmm. You're going to think that she's doing some wild shit too. I'm going to tell you the truth, bro. I've been in situations where I can't speak on too much, give me too much details, but it's been times where it's like, me and my friends fucked all these bitches, and it's time we fucked the same bitches. So it's like, if your friend a hoe, and she just fucked my dog, and she want to fuck me, I know you a hoe, and you going to fuck my dog too. So it's like, what we talking about here? <laughs> it is what it is. Ain't nothing wrong with being hoes. We love hoes. <laughs> <laughs> hoes are us, man. I love them. Exactly. So. Yeah, that's damn. gonna be a clip. Like, hoes gonna be hoes. Oh, we love hoes. Well, not me, love you. Know. Yeah, that's gonna be a meme right there. That's perfect. Damn, man, man, be who you day. are, man. Yeah, freak nigga invented, made me love hoes. Them hoes are <laughs> fucking. See him, your mother pussy getting played with the song. Like, <laughs> not my mother. Bro, I don't even know we can talk like this up here for real. Nah, you can't. Street food podcast. Bro, bro, we can like talk that. about anything. <laughs> the first three minutes, we good. It's <laughs> about seven, ten. I felt like y'all yeah. was pimping y'all past days. <laughs> you know our father, man. Before that baby, man, I don't even want to tell you, bro. It was out here. You wouldn't even believe me, man. God damn. You bro. should see my birthday party. If I, was, <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it, man. It'd get me in trouble. I was playing a snippet of talk, uh, uh, Toxic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I put this. Yo, you'll see when you hear. I put this shit together, though. Go crazy. That's true to prove. Toxic. 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 She called me toxic. Fuck them. Cause I'm tired of her shit. This bitch, I'm grateful. You want me to be faithful. Got me ready to quit. No way you leaving. You can't cheat and get even. You can't do what I do. You want your bill paid, but you ain't got no hustle. So you can't cheat too. Right. Oh, baby, this shit too easy. Bust your windows if you try to leave me fighting. Cause he talking greasy. But looks are deceiving. What the fuck you really think? He may hit me with a vase. He was spitting some on my face. But somehow I still love you the same. Girl, I love when you're out to your sister, your cousin, your mother, whoever. Said you want time, let me look at my schedule. Shorty, I'm toxic. Don't matter the weather. Devil with pride and that nigga about the dollars. Rockin' Gucci Fell Gamo, yeah, I'm toxic. Baby girl, you know why I am. He calling me toxic. Shit, clear no optics. optics. Bad bitch outside, yeah. And, and I got options. She toxic too. Like, so I'll find that seat, man. You wanna hear her? She ain't like a bitch thinking you laying with me. Broke ass nigga ain't staying with me. Better get your ass right. What I said? We play these games, these models, girl. You got big dreams, want diamonds and pearls. You might fuck good, but she fuck too. Me the best bitch, we ain't gotta do what you do. Better for me, you gotta help me grow. Put it on the floor. You was the wife, I'ma make you a hoe. What the fuck? I won't let you know. Come on, cut that off, bro. You don't even hear no more of that, bro. God damn. Even hit me with a vase. Even spit some on my face. Come on, cut that shit out. But somehow I still love you the same. You was the wife, I'ma make you a hoe I'm toxic girl I just gotta let you know this Cause like You like me You think I'm this angel But you just met the devil baby <laughs> the devil. This devil's advocate right here You better be careful this Nigga's crazy man <laughs> I'm happy. I can't go back outside man so I gotta just stay where I am And just do what I do I, feel like I don't hey. wanna hurt nobody else I did too much Let me your truth my boy What you say you 22? Yeah Oh man. shit Young buck <laughs> Nigga, what? Yeah. I was 22, I was wildin'. Psh, man. man. I don't even want to talk about it, man. I've been wildin' for years. <laughs> God damn. That's why I'm hood favorite, man. You got drama. <laughs> no, nah, I never drama. I don't Had have a drama. heavy influence, sadly. So, all right, so we're going to get into some toxic shit. Only right. I love That's it. all. I got to see my glasses <laughs> This is my category right here. What's the wildest shit you got into fucking with a chick? Uh, me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. 
the wildest shit I got into fucking with a chick. Yo, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. What I'm about to say, bro, is crazy. I had a girlfriend, but I had a baby on her. But okay. we didn't we didn't keep the baby, but it's like these chicks found out everything about each other. They just never encountered. So it's like, what happens if they ever encounter each other? I just said, oh shit. That's toxic because it's like I was fucking with them both and they they knew that. But yeah. they ain't, I ain't never really get caught until I had the baby. Then it's like <laughs> You can't hide no fucking baby in a way. <laughs> Somebody gonna tell something. Somebody gonna know something. It's only so much you could deal with. Man, shit. But to be honest, I, I'm real smooth, man. I don't be getting caught up in shit, bro. Smooth. I mean, that's good. Smooth breeze. I, I, can't, I don't get caught lie. up either, but I left my <laughs> phone in the house for two minutes. Like, I went downstairs. <laughs> I came back. She was in my messages searching up baby. Oh, shit. I don't know if she thought I was calling somebody else, baby, but she found what she wanted, and then she just uh, did what she did with that. First yeah. of all, if you gotta check someone's phone, that means you don't trust them, and you shouldn't be together. Because, like, I'm not, I don't want to check your phone. Yeah, I ain't, that's how I feel. Like, I don't want to check nothing, because if I find yeah. something, I'm going to show you why I'm my daddy's son. Curiosity, you're daddy. If I feel the need to go through your phone, then I don't trust you, and I shouldn't be with you. Like, that's yeah. Not but not to be cocky and numb, but when you lay wood how I lay wood, you ain't leaving until I say it's over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey man, you gotta keep the notifications turned off, man. So you won't know a thing. It's gonna be like your phone just just there. Whole time you're getting a million messages. I ain't gonna lie, it's better than woe with me. Like I'm a very good person. Like I treat my woman amazing. I treat how I treat my mother, so it's like it's how could you really leave somebody that's really there for you? Even though I might have my flaws. But if I'm but that's really, what I'm saying. Like if they trust you, there's no need for all Oh, that never had said you trust me, but it's like <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never said you have to trust me, but if I'm really there for you, if if you got nothing, you know I'm the person that's gonna come make your world complete, you're not really gonna leave that. You're gonna find a way to deal with it. But it's like I don't wanna get too much in the story, but I was only really fucked up because like she started some shit that she couldn't control. Cause mm. not being a good nigga, she damaged me. So it's like me trying to go back to being a good nigga it's kind of too late so y'all was bad for each other like, toxic toxic, toxic. Yeah. i'm only 22 you know you don't find your true love at this age i mean nah. not necessarily for some people it can be but like at the same time like you just weren't the right fit for each other so no i definitely I, you definitely right but you know good sex make bad things happen <laughs> This nigga crazy, <laughs> man. This nigga crazy, man. Ain't nev- I want to be a man, business, bro. but you ain't never had no sex. I just had you looking at this person like, damn. I can't, <laughs> yeah, with, Zarya, man. I can't be with you, but it's like the way we fuck. I don't want to leave you. How you going to fuck somebody like that? Have you ever? It's friends with benefits, man. No, but like. Uh, you ain't yeah. never meet the no, devil. No, because if I feel like I can't be with you beyond that, then I don't want I don't want it. Because like, I'm not about to put up with it. Like, you a lover nah, girl, nah, man. Nah, nah, she nah, a lover nah. girl. I don't believe her. She ain't never meet the devil, bro. You ever played devil's advocate before? My man, you need to stop saying that shit, bro. <laughs> Please Great, stop. Y'all. Look, don't get me wrong. I'm, God, a God, I'm a very God-fearing man, but it's like sometimes when you meet a person... But I feel like I was that person for them. Like, I'm not a bad person, but like I feel like they were willing to put up with stuff with me. But and that's the difference. You ain't never meet your match that's gonna have you fucked up. You ain't never had nobody fuck you up like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, hope you don't. Shit. Why would you want that? I don't want you to have that, but the only reason why you're speaking from this point of view because you probably never been in that scenario. You get it? I'm no, sure. No, I get it, but at the same time, like, I know what I relate I want too much who right I now. Like, I'm, I'm triggered. Not about to just be <laughs> Man, look, anything. sometimes. I'm some, getting too over that. I do believe you, but sometimes the morals and standards go the fuck out the window. I'm sorry. When you meet. I had a grown woman. She got kids almost my age. God I made damn. her wrap around my finger. I met her one night. We spent a little time together. I fucked her crazy. We shot a video together, whatever. She's been on my body ever since. She grown as hell. I'm sure she had more dicks than my age, but well, who am I to say to judge her? That was like a viral. Please. <laughs> so many clips I can... You crazy, but you man. You understand, bro. Sometimes really the morals speaking. and standards go the fuck out the window when you meet the right person. You probably not, you probably was the person that was the devil to everybody else. You ain't <laughs> never had nobody rock your world. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Bro, There's nothing wrong with that. Listen, my mother been with only two men in her life. And she could be lying to me, but from what I see, everybody that got a piece got two babies by her, maybe more. But my father got three. Yeah, my man, you just putting out the family business. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just telling the bro. truth. You get it? Like, so, maybe she's the devil in this case because how every time somebody touched it, they got multiple kids. You get it? I mean, I get it, but like. I don't know Like I'm very <laughs> Stubborn and strong I understand like, that But sometimes that. Like, I do under- uh, See you not, You know You're a Taurus I'm a Leo uh, uh, Shout out to you Me too I don't uh, believe that wait. shit man I feel like if August you were, 19th 16th mm, It's August 16th we the best, you know we the yeah. best. Leo season Obviously coming Leo's. up We thawing out You feel me <laughs> We thawing out to get, Man Holler at me next month It's going up 
For sure. <laughs> yeah, we going up. My baby shower August 19th, too. Right on my birthday. Double the toxic shit. I like shit. that plug. Yeah, I like we that We going plug. crazy. I promise. You gonna, well, you gonna, congratulations. I would love for y'all to come. Y'all gonna see my story and be like, damn, I should have Yeah, should have went. <laughs> I, so I got plans right. on being in the club, dancing with no shirt on again. Crazy. The, you gonna do that for the baby shower? Oh, no. For the club. Oh, I, I, <laughs> damn. The after party. Yeah, it's crazy. Baby shower got one of them grandmas and older people there. I got to look civilized. Now, who are you? No grandmas be into that shit. No, the they're not coming to the party. I'm not party with nobody older than <laughs> six, 40. If you got, the oldest I'm party with maybe 35. Anything older, you need Man. to sit the fuck down. Yeah. Oh, shit. 935. <laughs> I was about to say, chill, Gramps. I don't need to worry about that. I'm close though. 32. I'm 32. Oh, you got time. You got three years to party with me. After Damn, that. I, like I can't party with you. I can't party with you. I can't party with y'all niggas. Nah, y'all want to party with me. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Your liver gonna hurt you party with me. I'm gonna come back on divorce. <laughs> Don't go back oh, home, bro. At that point, you stay out. <laughs> no point. That's the best logic. If I'm already in trouble, you ever been in trouble by your parents and you just like, yeah, ain't so no good. point of going home. Yeah, home my ass with anyway. So that shit once <laughs> came back, I was locked out. I was like, damn, what happened? <laughs> some old nine. Damn. Was wild that shit crazy, man. Oh nine. Yeah, some old nine. Damn, I was still like. Okay. How old are you? I'll be 27 this year. Yeah, if you was in middle school, I must have oh, been oh, 09. It had to be like in like seven, so it's like. Oh, no, I was bugging. Sixth grade. I was eight. But I was 18. He goes, yeah. You 18? <laughs> yeah. Damn, Damn. I was like in sixth grade, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Nigga, you could have watched me in. <laughs> you could have watched me for sure. Mom, good. I'm with Uncle Bra, bro. He's <laughs> 18. He cool. They would have trusted you responsibly. Uh, for real. God damn. It's crazy. Your life sounds amazing. For me, I <laughs> really am a logical person, so I try to make it the best I can be. Because you, uh, people say you only, I don't live by the lifestyle that you only live once because you live every day, but you die once. So I yeah. try to make sure every day is some shit that, like, damn. <laughs> it's like, this <laughs> nigga, like, when my cask, when I go I in my casket and knock on wood, my funeral gonna be a party. You're you go. gonna see a bunch of women I hit. You're gonna see a bunch of niggas that did and did not like me. It's like, this nigga <laughs> is a god. They gonna have to bury me in gold, man. That's gonna be crazy. That's what's up. I think it's crazy, bro. <laughs> That's something dope to live by, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, like you said, live by like the Yolo. the normal standard. Like you gotta have certain a certain thing by a certain age type shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I ain't gonna you, lie. You, I got I gotta reiterate that because I do live by that too. I live my everyday routine is have things today. Mm -hmm. Where double do the double work today, so I can have things tomorrow that others won't have. So it's like I'm gonna outwork you every That's single day I live. So by the time you catch up, I'm already gone. But that's what I'm saying. Like, you living right now, you feel me? Like, a lot of people only, yeah. you know, say, like, by 20, you got to have such and such. Then by 30, you got to have this and that. Like you feel me? Like, for the future, yeah. not for right now. Not yeah. for right now, and exactly. That's, that's what, in my opinion, I know we probably got questions and shit. It's my last Nah, you, you live. You but live. look, my opinion, I feel like if you live for the future, it holds you up because you don't know what the fuck could change. Like, when I started right. rapping, I ain't gonna lie. When I started doing my big shows, because I ain't gonna lie, in 2021, I wasn't really doing them shows. I mm -hmm. prayed. Like, I prayed. I was like, uh, I pray that I start doing shows. This nigga DM me. Mm -hmm. Literally, 30 minutes after I prayed and told me that he want me to come outside. And I was the young hothead. So it's like, I got so 50 it. people from my town. We doing shows in my <laughs> city. So this is my city now. So it's like, That's what's up. we gonna go there and go crazy. And I used to throw mad money at parties. Like, I used to be in there throwing hella singles. Like, females would send me videos with they bras for. I'd be like, wow. You know, it's it's I did that. It could have been strippers. <laughs> like, it's crazy out there. That's lit. Nah, that's what's up. Y'all yeah, young, you know what I'm saying? Still doing y'all thing. You know, keep that energy, bro. Like for, for real. real, as well as like staying out of trouble and shit. But yeah, I don't <laughs> keep, this, keep this shit. And you know what I'm saying? Shit happens. You feel me? But the the energy y'all giving off right now is like it's contagious. You feel me? You make yeah, me want to go somewhere too. Right yeah. Now. After this, you, I'm like, yo, we hitting out the club. Like, where we going after this type of shit? You feel me? Like, I, I fucks with y'all and I fucks with the energy y'all give. Nah, I appreciate so, it. I, oh. For real. No, for real. He's like, 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 he's like,
Well, I ain't got that. I got a couple. Well, this might be a couple bands worth of work too, but I don't got as many tattoos as him. That nigga got a mural on his body. <laughs> <laughs> he liked this wall, man. It's just it's amazing to see. Cause I would never sit through that. Like I'm done with tattoos. Right. I want more. I'm not getting my chest done. I can't stand these shits. <laughs> <laughs> Being soft, this is man. My most, oh shit! I'm trying to find the camera. Oh, right here. This is probably my most painful tattoo. God. I can't do it. He got his stomach and back. I can't. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> nah, stomach is the worst shit ever. I, I ain't doing my stomach no more for sure. That probably, that probably hurt like a bitch. Yeah, second is ribs. But it's I, ribs. Yeah. I ain't fucking with neither one of them places no more. But it, it's full anyway, so I can't really. Your back ain't hurt. No, nah, not really. Not as bad as really? the front. No, nah, back. I hear right. like mixed views on that, but like the people I ask are like females, cause like um you know Vic, she got her spine tatted, so that's what I want. I was about to say that's kind of mm-hmm. mediocre for women because like females <laughs> really have all spine tats. Like it's either they got big ass pieces, like they spine be tatted, thighs be tatted. So it's like I don't know. I don't even get uh-huh. that because female, females, most females that got their spine tatted be smaller. So but it's that's like, what I'm saying. Like if it don't hurt them, then for someone who's bigger, it'll be fine. You know, nah. you know some crazy but then shit. Also, I have a high tolerance for pain, so. That's hey. what it is. You gotta have a high. Nah, me. I'll be in that bitch numb cream <laughs> down, wrap the fuck up like a mummy. Nah, I, got, <laughs> I got a high tolerance too, real high. For real. Yeah, I hate tattoos. I'm done I with like these them. shits. I love them. I hate them. That's how Leo on y'all, man. That's how Leo on y'all. Need to pray for y'all. <laughs> well, with that said, what, 20, 2023 is almost over. So, what y'all got going moving forward, which I got planned until the years up? Oh. Like, moving forward? Uh-huh. Yeah, like any lie. day plan, any parties, any shows. I'm throwing a big ass party next month because <laughs> when my when my my son gonna be born in September, so I'm gonna take a little time away so I can focus on him. Gotcha. So I'm gonna make sure I go out with a bang. Like I got a plan for my baby shower weekend to just go on tour from clubs to strip clubs. I'm gonna make everybody regret hanging with me. Yeah. Oh, and, and it's my birthday, so it's double that. that. We going. To, I'm, I'm being the worst time. I'm sorry. I'm single too. I'm gonna be on the worst time, boy. Jeez. Well, I ain't think we're going to have a home <laughs> That's his business. That's okay. She got to help drag me in. We'll be all right. There you go. Um, if there was uh, one one or two artists that you are looking to collab with, who would it be? Uh, mm. Truthfully, me, I really like Young Boy and Lil Baby. Mm. Me, Key Glock, and Drake. Yeah, you get the Drake feature. Damn. You, you got nothing you know else. What? That's like a, that's, yeah. that's, that's and not, I want to put both of them on the right same there. track. That's platinum. You get a Drake feature. That's facts. I like Key Glock because he's independent, and Drake is just like the biggest. So yeah, put Drake them two, Drake. two together with me, but us, that shit gonna be different. I would like make a song with Drake too, but it's like I feel like once you get a Drake feature, you no longer can build your own legacy. Yeah, cause, cause think so. Cause, yeah, cause look at um. I don't, I don't, I don't even, think I don't that. I mean to knock Lil Dirk, but like Lil Dirk, uh, I feel like really have any platinum songs until he made that feature with the fucking Drake. You can what, laugh you can now. Call my bluff. I'm pretty no, cause all right, so Dirk, so Dirk had like a little run in the streets, like little like mi- little like mixtape run. Yeah, like and then Lil when he got Wayne, that Drake tape, song with a laugh now, cry later. That that took Drake, not Drake. That took Dirk into like superstar. Yes, like, he's no longer a street nigga. He's a superstar. I think now. he's still a street nigga, but he's like a. He's a, still a street nigga, but it's like now he can go into the doors that he couldn't walk in. There's yeah, exactly, nothing wrong yeah. with that. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. I would take a Drake feature, no problem. <clears throat> second guessing if I was offered it, mm-hmm. but for right now, I mean, it's the same thing with little baby, young boy feature. But I feel like they give you a little more chance to do what you gotta do. But that's what I was about to say because when we got that first little baby Drake. Little baby ate Drake. The little baby, little, he went crazy. But little he, baby and Drake, but you feel oh, me? Uh, that first, he that didn't first, even make little baby legacy with that because little baby took the fuck. Oh. No, that's what I'm saying. That that's what I that's what I was uh, going against you with. Like that whole. One, I feel like once little baby got on that, I, it was like a throwaway vert, like a throwaway what, song with which, Drake. What did yes indeed? Yeah. That one. Yeah. indeed. Okay. So that, I, oh, that one. Alright. So that song put little baby on my radar. Really? I should say, yeah. Because cause before that, I probably heard like his previous mixtapes that he did, but then once that Drake uh, collab happened, I was like, all right, let me check out this nigga then. You know what I feel baby. about that? I feel like it kind of put him on a lot of people's radar. Like, I don't know. I can't. <clears throat> oh, yeah, for sure. I can't speak about for when sure. he made my dog with the remix. Because I was mm. listening to Lil Baby in the Hood, like 2017, 2018. <laughs> facts, facts, facts. That Southside had the hood going <laughs> crazy. Fan it, fan it, fan it, fan it. 
That's a fact. <sighs> I, I, guess I, I guess I'm wrong about the Drake shit. Cause I fight. I ain't not wrong. No, nah, you're, you're not wrong. Saying, you're not wrong. Nigga, phone. It depends. Who, it depends who you are as an artist. It depends on. Like first of all, you're not getting the Drake feature just randomly anyway, so you gotta Facts. have your <laughs> shit built up. Yeah, yeah I fight, but I mean Drake co-signs is major. Like his yeah. name whole weight. Yeah, anybody like, he brought Ice him. Spice out the trenches with with the woods. Like so, you Ice Spice took over and changed her whole image. She got that Drake co-sign. You feel me? So it's like mm, it's it point. can go good and bad. Like it's still because yeah, like that nigga from uh from Memphis. I forgot his name. Look alive. Block, block, block boy, block, yeah. that yeah. nigga yeah. had that feature, and after that, it was done for oh, them. Wait, block. But he's part of um, he was um, well, young, um Gotti, you know, Gotti, yeah, yeah. yeah CMG. But that, but after that song, yeah, I'm not. I think, I think, like, I think, like, I think, like, he put out like a, a album after that. But that yeah, shit didn't Rover. do nothing. But you know why you got that song that out? crazy? But shoot, I think that song. Black boy JB is an in my opinion, he isn't. He's not all that as an artist. He's not. Yeah, he, nah. he give me like he's good with hype music. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I ain't gonna lie. The song that I music, love by music. him and fucking uh Italy Chop, but that shit called Chop Block too. Uh huh. That shit fire. Like he got the music for the uppity shit, but it's like after you don't want to be up no more. What else do he got for you? That's a fact. But that, that that goes into this conversation that a lot of artists, you know, what I'm saying they'll have like the connections. They'll get in, get the bag, and they will like dip. Oh, it's crazy you say that, cause I, just, I said that about the whole industry right now. Like, I feel like the best album that has come out, mm. yeah, I might say Gunners. I ain't listen to Gunners shit, whatever that is. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know who I feel like I, who probably got the best album out right now, and he's dead, King Vaughn. You know why Vaughn? Wow, you know why Vaughn? Like, did, got the best album? They did drop a Postman's album. You know why Vaughn album good. the best? I, you know why his I album didn't the even, best? I, I can tell y'all because he has shit to prove still. Dirk don't got shit to prove. Why B don't got shit to prove? Gunna, even though he whatever he ain't thug and them niggas ain't got shit to prove. They just dropping music at this point. This nigga Vaughn still was fighting for a spot that are alive. Okay. His album probably was the best, but I cannot sleep on this. Lil Papa album with OD. Who? Lil Papa. Lil from know. CMG. Mm. <laughs> Signed to Gotti. He ain't never heard of Lil Papa. I heard his name, but I never heard nah. his music. Bro, his album was amazing, bro. His album because he still got something to prove. Give it a chance, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a chance. I'm gonna look, look out. I'm gonna look out for. I'm gonna look out for them. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, that's a. I, I feel like that's what some of these artists do nowadays. Like, they, they, they just want to go for the for the hit. And once they get their hit, you know, they dip out. You know what I'm saying? Then when money running low, they come back try to drop another yeah, one. But sometimes, yeah. sometimes it'll go. Sometimes it won't. You feel me? But you know what I feel like so fun. It's like when I finally get my spotlight, I got so much music. From my catalog That's like When you finally catch up And see like My growth From where I started To where I am now From SoundCloud To Facts. all platforms Facts. It's gonna be like Damn this nigga got Platinums Just sitting there the song yeah, We even word. found out Was a hit And that's another thing bro it, It's Like as an artist Like it's great to have that You feel me Cause a lot of artists Don't have catalog Don't, don't have catalog gotta, gotta have a catalog all, bro. That's, like, that's some, the longevity Facts And like a lot of these artists Have that one song And so everybody else Is like alright What's the next shit Exactly. And the other The artist like I believe you gotta shit, have Projects the bro The only person I think Get away with that shit Is Bryson Tiller Besides nah, Drake What you mean bro what, what? Bryson Tiller Bryson Wait wait, 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 wait. I ain't saying well, <laughs> Bryson don't drop that much they he, that His much. catalog he been long No I'm yeah. saying His catalog is long But it's like When Bryson Tiller Dropped his album He ain't drop again For a minute But that's Nobody heard of Bryson again But I think he The difference with Bryson He a writer at the same time You know what I'm saying So uh, he doing the background shit Okay, so I didn't really know that. Like, Bryson Hart fans are so hardcore. Like, Yo, for the day. Yeah, I, I still bone trap so to this day. I'm about to get that shit tatted on me. I love it. <laughs> for, I'm dead ass serious. I'm so for real. But yeah, that that's that's what I encourage like artists to do. Like don't don't like settle for just being a rapper or a singer, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's yeah, other artists. avenues. Like, get into that songwriting, you know what I'm saying? Like, they get mad money. Even if, even if you think, like, your pen isn't, like, the best, like, if you're comparing yourself to, like, the Drakes and shit like that, whatever it may be, you feel me? Still trying to get into these camps where you can, like, write for their upcoming artists, yeah, you feel yeah. me? They be having teams. Because nowadays, nowadays, motherfuckers don't really listen to songs, you feel me? They listen to lyrics. They listen to lyrics. Fans well, they fickle. listen to what's catchy. Yeah, I'm about to say. Be, but look, fans are very, fans are like very fickle nowadays. Cause they like hear one song and they'll like the beat and then go to the next one and forget about the last one they just listen to. And like, that's it. Yeah, pretty and much. And some, some, some listeners will listen to a song just for the beat. Yeah, like yeah. it'd be hard as hell. I do that sometimes. Fuck with the shit. Right. Be like, All right, what, what, what did they say? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't just know. be hard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I encourage motherfuckers to just like just. 
tap into where you can or just like take advantage of it you know what i'm saying because there's mad avenues in this music <laughs> shit like a lot of motherfuckers of course everybody wants to be at the top and want to be on the front on a you know the face of the shit for you feel me and show up for your city but at the same time and i'm not saying that's not that's a problem or anything but at the same time utilize what else the music industry you know has to offer because this in, the industry is fucked up we all know that yeah. you know what i'm saying but yep. niggas like us we like this shit because it's it's in our blood it's passion we, you know what i'm saying we love to do this shit you feel passion. me so i just feel like motherfuckers should just go and utilize everything the motherfucking industry has you feel me yeah. get into these rooms that's like motherfuckers who work for tiktok who work for yeah, instagram definitely. or like soundcloud and shit like that you feel me these niggas is right in the city i'm telling you you find these niggas at coffee shops for real, I'm also going <laughs> coffee shops then because clearly I, I need the I'm te- Yo, I'm telling you, if you, I'm gonna put you on game. So if you go on like Instagram and shit like that, and you, you hashtag like SoundCloud or whatever it may be, like interns and shit will pop up. If you go on LinkedIn, I don't know if you have that. If you go on LinkedIn and type in like interns for Spotify and shit, niggas who work at Spotify will pop up. Right. You feel me? Because it's you all know, a job still. You know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is like reach out. Like yo, got No, yeah. don't even say nothing about your music. Just like yo, I'm interested in like what y'all do over there, yada yada yada, and just build that relationship. That's what well, a lot I'm of my. I saw the And networking is the main thing, man. Yeah, you gonna have me on LinkedIn tonight. I'm trying to tell you, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. I'll be on there. I'll be on there because I'm trying to get like even though I do music, I'm I see myself more so like being a dot connector. You feel me? Like I want to put motherfuckers in rooms. So kind of like an A&R. In a sense, yeah. Yeah. You know what do I'm saying? Do you think all right, so do you think the A and R role still exists to this day? I feel like I feel like it does, but it doesn't. The A and R I feel like you know why? Yeah. It's because we don't need the yeah. labels. I was about to say everybody can go independent, so you don't really need A and R. You don't really get blessed with a good A and R these days either. That's a lot of scammers. There's a lot of scammers but in this game, man. You know who uh do you know who Derek Milano is? Yeah. You do. Mm-hmm. That's one of my favorite writers because I actually watch he him. Everybody, he on everybody's song, bro. bro you say you know that I, he probably <laughs> he kind of pissed me off. Just <laughs> did you listen to Moneybags album? Yeah, he had a writing on that. He had some writing with Ciara. He, he got shit with Beyonce, right? He got shit with Beyonce. Yeah. A hot album too. Mm-hmm. That shit kind of excited me because it's like one day it was. I made a song called "Give It to Me," mm-hmm. and I made it after I watched his shit because it's like. I couldn't sleep for some odd reason anyway. It's like four in the morning. I'm laying down. I'm like, yo, this nigga's on live making music right now. I'm like, yo, this shit's influential. I'm about to go do something. <laughs> but <laughs> I couldn't though. It was too late. Right. I didn't want to make no noise because my lady had work in the morning. So I waited gotcha. to about I waited to eight o'clock in the morning. Gotcha. And wrote the song. That shit was a crazy song. That's what's up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like y'all just tap into these motherfuckers, you feel me? Like it's not shown. Because it's in the background, you know what I'm saying? But these are the motherfuckers who really be making bread. Like, these songwriters and influences and shit. That's what I want to do. I'm trying to tell you. Like I said, I'm trying to put motherfuckers in rooms. Like, I want to say, like, an A&R. Just, like, you know, say if I'm out somewhere. And I'm like, yo, I know a couple of dudes, Finesse Vlad and Rama Finesse, who can fit, like, you know, what you're trying to do. Here's their contact, yada, yada, yada. Tell them I, hit you, I, I sent you. Boom. That's it. That's yeah. the only person I'm trying to be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if the A&R shit come, like, if I start a label, whatever, yeah, that's cool, whatever. But I'm just trying to get motherfuckers, like, from the knowledge that I know, I want to just, that like, we got we to gotta stop we gotta stop this gatekeeping shit. You feel me? Yeah. You got motherfuckers that'll fit perfect for what they trying to do. Like, that shit remind me a little bit of Concert Crave. You know what Concert Crave is? Yeah, that's where we was at. Yeah, we performed there. Yeah, yeah. I did Concert Crave, and I was supposed to do, uh, I wanted to do the fucking Two Rare show, but it got canceled. Gotcha. So we supposed to do a uh, little Tay show, mm-hmm. Tay Money. Nah, it was Tay Money. Tay Money. Yeah, yeah. I was supposed to do a show, but it got canceled or whatever. I don't know what that was about, but it's yeah, like, that shit was cool. Because, like, I did the fucking little showcase, and then they they text me the next day, like, yeah, I think you'll fit perfect on her shit. This See? Yeah. That's what's it's up. Dog connected. You feel me? But, yeah, yeah, I like, like I said, this shit scary out here, but don't let that shit fucking discourage y'all because what y'all got right now is like it's something there bro it's something there appreciate it and i want to see y'all become the biggest y'all can you know what i'm saying go as far as y'all can you feel me run up a check Stop fucking with these hoes. Oh, I ain't got a hoes. I told you I'm gonna take it, man. I'm looking for something. Though. I'm trying for my roster, actually. 
I'm you taking them. I mean, to be music. told, though, having hoes is actually a plus. Because, like, if you are, <laughs> if you're a person who can get all your hoes in one room and they can have fun together, it works out. Oh, yeah. Because at my shows, I will have 30 women. <clears throat> and I'm, I can go talk to any of them. And we're going to have fun. That's because right. I'm not a problematic person. So it's like if I give all 30 of y'all peace, y'all all going to be peaceful. But if I give all 30 of y'all problems, y'all going to fuck the show up. <laughs> and I don't got the thing in me. I don't got that kind of time. <laughs> I feel you, Trevor. Being a whore was really my thing. I'm happy I kind of retired. It's yeah, way me, cheaper. Me too. Me too. If you guys weren't doing music, like, what would you be doing? Like, what's, like, hobbies outside of music that you guys have? Okay, I'm really a businessman. I'm good at selling anything. I like to sell cars, sell clothes. <laughs> I can sell anything. Like, that's really what I do. I'm just about money. I like to build and grow. But I ain't gonna lie. If I wasn't doing music, I'd probably do real estate. Or i probably, most likely, I'd really be selling more cars. Okay. Cause, but I just gave it a little break. It's a little time consuming. But it's like, I used to buy like 11 cars and just, after I'm done with the car, I'll just sell it. I know it's no need to fucking keep it. So, like, you fix it up? Like, you buy, like, junk cars and then you fix it up? Hell no, they don't be junk cars. If it's good enough for me, it's good enough for somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got time to be fixing shit up. I ain't handy mandy. I'm like, <laughs> 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 Go about your business. You gonna like it, love it. <laughs> yeah, tripping, Think about just that. For me, um, I'll definitely be like some form of a writer, cause like the, I actually, cause I, I in my head I see I hear and see things so like cinematically. Mm. So it's like I'm, I'll be like some type of movie writer or something, something like that, director or something. Cause even when it comes to my music, even when I'm making skits or anything, I just see and hear everything differently. Mm-hmm. So like I'm working on this next project I'm working on is called Sincerely Don Vito. Shout out my boy, he made the cover. He made the cover art for me. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my boy, Mar- Marty. Marty, man, he did. for sure. It's I gonna be a story and now. everything. I remember you now. <laughs> <laughs> you told me you like that's the guy that made the cover art. <laughs> 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 oh, bro, you've been this nigga for an hour already, bro. <laughs> <laughs> man, I ain't gonna lie. I thought he walked to a room full of strangers that wanted to do a podcast. Nah, I'm, man. I'm here for anything that's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> you crazy, I don't remember man. him for, I remember him for them can of paint. And now it's like, all right. He Why was at the concert crave. You say that's the guy that did your cover. Oh, you said that you still didn't say nothing. Now he knows. I ain't have nothing to say. He was like, what? You was there? What the fuck? Yeah. I'll be an asshole there. I'm not going to lie. But I'll, I'll be, be some, I'll definitely be some type of form of a writer still. Okay. okay. All right. So for the last couple minutes for the pod, we'll do a freestyle. We'll do this in a minute. We can do this in a minute. Ooh, we. <laughs> you ready, Glad my boy Vlad? You ready? Man. Yeah. You know. As you see, we two different people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, are you chatting? Yeah, you running your mouth, but you better stop it. This shit in my lap, I swear, go ping as big as y'all mean on the Rockets. Hey, I'm a two step on a nigga, you mad because I ball. Where the Luca Bradley Bull and John Ball standing on something we would never fall at all. Uh, I'm calling up Marty, we having a meeting inside of the back of the reef, manifesting everything. But she get down and kiss on the ring as soon as it bling. None of them pop, pop, pop my shit. Said that she love me, I'm signing her tits. I'm in a pink shirt, fresh to death, feel like the colors. Salmon. I'ma run me a bag and two was nothing left. Call me a bandit, this shit lit. The way that I planned it, wasn't like nigga, get you hit with this cannon. Paint the picture, my body a canvas, tied it up. I'ma cut off your tail, you right enough. My bitch so fine, she bad as fuck. And you can afford it, ain't not enough. Young boss nigga like Shug Knight. Love on my girls, ratchet the hood type. Drink Hennessy, any wood woods, right nigga? Glocks, mops in, we got them triggers. Blow nigga brains out, call it a booger. I don't know what the fuck you thought. Talking to pigs, now you like pork. Goddamn shame that you can't walk. Yeah. God damn! Yeah, we're trying to fuck up the first time, but you know, right, I'm gonna start freestyling one day. Just not today. <laughs> hey, take your time, bro. Take your time. We can do that shit in a minute. Freestyle. Man, yeah, man. What last time we did freestyle? Shit, uh, I don't remember. Last freestyle. Hey, Marty, man, I can't wait to see you in the back of the reef. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Business me and the very race, soon. the stars of that's the right? The stars, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> so, what's the name? What's the name of this shit? But yeah, and you have Bentley, episode, I think. Fi- episode 55 in the books. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Yeah, we're ready? All right, take us out, Marty. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know what it is. This is Street Approved Podcast. You know what I'm saying? Here with my guys, Finesse Vlad and Robert Finesse. You know what I'm saying? State, I'm glad you guys. St- 
uh, stayed in tune with us and understand what they was talking about. You know what I'm saying? They spent some knowledge. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of holes in it, but it was some knowledge. <laughs> you feel That's me? Him, man. He the did. The made the world go round, man. Holes gonna be holes, so I couldn't blame Tammy. <laughs> Work yeah. with Diddy, man. Make holes make the world go round. <laughs> you did. You know what I'm saying? This is episode 55. I hope, you know what I'm saying? You could go check out this this episode this week. Right here on streetapprovedpodcast.com. It is summertime, so you already know what it is. Ladies. <laughs> Don't shake no eyes and no cars. I know <laughs> what he said. You know what I'm saying? And especially, you got the sundresses on, you ain't got no panties on, because I know your motherfuckers is freaky. Make sure the shit smell good, <laughs> all right? We ain't trying to see none of the juices and shit drop on motherfucking shoulders and shit. We got to wipe yeah, it off. We don't like fish oil. You know what I'm saying? We don't like that. My bad, Coach Jones, my bad. Also, thanks for everybody who came last week to the live show. Ch-ch-ch-chill. Appreciate everybody. Appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? You feel yeah. me? And niggas, you know what I'm saying? Stay fly, stay cool, stop being a fuck boy. Go get some money. You know what I'm saying? Go, Go get, get some, some money. money. Stop wearing your niggas clothes. Go get your own <laughs> shit. You feel me? So niggas don't man, talk listen, bad about you. Don't, don't, don't listen to him, bro. <laughs> 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 if you fucked up and you ain't got it, your nigga can help you, bro. I mean, you yeah. You got to figure till you make it. I ain't always have a Rolex. My jewelry hey, had to be fixed somewhere. That's what I'm saying. Go, you know what I'm saying? You got to go You gotta go get your own shit. You feel me? You feel you gotta me? got to go get you some money. That's the most important. Exactly. That's Once what I was getting Once you get some at. paper, you good. You got to get that money. You feel me? You can't get no holes with old clothes. You feel it's me? It's crazy how you can't, nigga. Your wife <laughs> wasn't always paid. Still was getting laid. Fuck motherfuckers you is about. out here clocking you. Man, Trust sexy Reg is a drop. At this time of age, if you ain't that guy, you ain't gonna get no hoes. <laughs> you might get lucky with the hoes you don't want, but not the hoes you like. Hey, sometimes <laughs> you gotta get it how you get it. You they can all me? be tens, whatever. You did. <laughs> and we out of here. Pow! Pleasure being here, man.